Well, it was around two years ago at this time that I finished building my homemade bandsaw. And um, over the time, I really haven't used it a lot. My original idea for the saw was for resawing only, and I had a three quarter inch blade on it for that reason. For more detailed work, I modified this one right here. Um, it's a store bought bandsaw, but I added a one horsepower motor to it and internal dust collection. But the problem with that one is it's relatively short blade. Um, a longer blade obviously has more teeth and will definitely last longer, stay sharper longer, and make better cuts, I think. Also, um, I redid the blade guides on that saw, but I used um, the ultra high molecular plastic that I used on this saw originally, and that really doesn't work for, for blades that don't have a wide flat surface on the back of the blade. So instead of modifying the blade guides on that saw, I decided I'd buy a narrower blade for this saw and modify the blade guides on this one. So here are the blade guides that were originally on here. They're pieces of um, ultra high molecular weight plastic and they're about three quarters of an inch wide and three eighths of an inch thick. Um, they worked well with the wider blade, but they will not work with this uh, smaller blade. It wears into the side of the block too easily. So what I did is I made hardened steel blade guides for this one. And here they are. And here's how I made them. I made the guides from a long 3 8 drill bit. and made a simple jig to cut it off straight. I then smoothed the end. In order to get the part hot enough, I had to make a basic uh, furnace here to put the guide in and aim the torch inside. Uh, these are just uh, normal fire bricks and the back is open so that the flame can go through. This concentrates the heat on the part. After it got up to temperature, I rolled it out of the furnace and into this oil. If the hardening was successful, you shouldn't be able to cut into it with the file. This file will not cut into this steel. There's a lot more detail on how I did this in the article on my website. There's a link in the description. But that's enough talk. Let's see how it cuts. Not bad, I'd say. This is three and a half inches of maple and it cuts through that no problem. Um, that's the quality of a good blade, but the blade guide didn't allow the blade to wander either. They held it firmly in place. A lot of the cheaper bandsaws come with steel blade guides and I guess that's the reason why they have a bad rep. Uh, in fact, there's absolutely nothing wrong with steel blade guides, um, especially if they're well hardened. The steel on steel contact is really low friction and there will be no heat buildup. Uh, that's another myth that's uh, going around. Uh, the blade doesn't even get warm, the guides don't get warm either. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I just did this not too long ago and um, time really tells the tale on these things. But 
I don't see a problem now. I probably won't see a problem in the near future. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.